Hello people, what is going on? I'm Envy Media Nerd and this is episode 2 of The Witcher 3. There's plenty more of these videos to come, so please do leave a like, please share this video with your friends, and let's get into the video and let's see what happens. Let's walk straight in. What the hell is this? Right. You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. I, I, I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so. No, no, no! By the gods, no! What? Guess you've dropped your good uncle act. It was no act. I extended a hand to these people. They spat on it. Could it be because it held the sword that killed their loved ones? Tcha! <laughs> a moralist. And what would you do in my stead? Wouldn't ever be in your stead. <laughs> Tell me why you've come. Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the griffin. Tit for tat. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Okay. I'll take the coin. <laughs> the dogs. Hilarious. Back in the sides. Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so. Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Who are they? Patriots, drinking their seventh round for Tamaria. Fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it. Just this once. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? I cannot show Temerian colours. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fund of the Imperials. You Nilfgaard's whore. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You no know shit! They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog, said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition, that they don't fear the wrath of the gods, and you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son Let twice go. as attending to the no. birth, and you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. <laughs> you don't <sighs> fear it, you cunt! <sighs> <sighs> Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. <laughs> you alright? They say witches steal oh, dragons. That's true. This what do you ever what? promise you freaks? Your own land? Like he did the elves once? Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. Oh, the cliffs have stayed on now. Yeah, oh, brilliant camera. Oh, no. I can really see why I just did that. Oh, that's it. Oh. What the hell? 
Now you try. Raw, he, that old man took out at least four of them. He took out at least four. Oh, okay. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be. I don't know. Get away. Two, two, and stop. See his face. God save us. Be gone, and don't ever come back. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. You just had to be flashy and show them the little crest, didn't you? That brawl? We didn't start it. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. Spent the last six months in the saddle. Haven't seen you for two years. Can we take a moment to... Sadly, we cannot. Someone awaits you, Geralt. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Oh, Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well... Now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? <laughs> I didn't. Though I could have. Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing and Gamera, Sovereign of Nazair and Vicovaro will feel honored, I'm sure. What oh are you? Gosh. I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? <laughs> I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Sounds ominous. Months. You know, I had a dream about you recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Just the beginning. But then... But then... Uh... Right now! Okay.
shall talk of this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. Nice. <laughs> this bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. The what now? In that chair. Okay. Catwin, please shave the gentleman sideburns to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. <laughs> Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Is that so? Morvran Voris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality. But one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth, unknown. Parents, unknown. Age, unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander, one Arya. Full test ordered me to clear the path. The boy stood in my way. Cutting down the Lavalette air. This made no impression on you? Uh, I suppose it wouldn't. What's some baron to an assassin of kings? Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsa, and from there made your way to Vergen. My question is how? I got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roach, commander of the Blue Stripes, and... A murderer of non-humans. We know this gentleman well, Witcher. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. I guess. I'll shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there, and once again meddled in the affairs of the Mighty. The Mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. Ought to know I care about her, and I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, 
Shortly afterwards, you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tansoville to bits. I watched her get in the megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. That an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc., etc. Here and here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Count. Good luck with your audience. Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that <laughs> so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Black, black, or black. <laughs> we do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Right Shame then. I have no time. No, I don't want to press that. Suits the gentleman. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? <laughs> no need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. I don't know some buttons. That, sir, is how you oh, might bow to a whore on a street corner. Not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Oh, wait. I have to do this. Oh, my gosh. Do you do? You did right hand and chest. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace, but we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. The 
The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Imgrimi et art cancer. Daipfen Aden in Karn eb Marvut. Emir var Emreis. Bow. Ah, whatever. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer et do orde. Avelian Namen, what can favor? I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. <laughs> We're friends. <laughs> Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that after the audience. How many men in your army? Twenty thousand? Thirty? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. <laughs> if for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My corps of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. All right, bye. Follow me, if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There Wait, are many honorable so guests at the palace, whom the gentleman <laughs> need not bother. Morning, and it's past noon. It's past noon, and we can't more for what? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herevart the second, Prince of Elanda. The scene has fallen on the ground. Yeah, I'm in. Rad sliden e enet es tun es saur. Ted de tage in den kaland ne es voloi saur. Absolutely. Mind if I interrupt? Why not join in instead? We're discussing neutrality. How difficult it is to preserve. Still worth trying. Because? Because there are few causes worth serving, even fewer men. Enough about that. Mind if we change the subject? So, talk to the Emperor. Hmm. Why did he summon you? So not even you know. No. But I wager it's an ordinary witch's contract. 
Mm -hmm. Some weirbubs. Some bugs. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's a type see of thing you. in this game. Fair enough. Soon, mind you. Not in a hurry to see the sorceress. This for death. Evel, Kata Ath. Today, Glaithevin. Ersovatka. Esma is straight and focused on Kata. Noir en eid fein. Where is the Heard of the Vlyhead Brigade? Your kind, sir. Non humans. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. You have to. Now do you understand why I'm at Emir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. I missed those awkward compliments of yours. Let's focus on Sid, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. We thought. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. The Wild Hunt? What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the Hunt wishes to do with that gift, I'd... I'd prefer not to think about it, really. So where has Siri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. <laughs> Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? 
Didn't need me, didn't even want to see me. I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. <laughs> I don't wish to hear it. I mean, any it's, of it. it's a reason. Like, it's not like, you know, he's making it up. Like, my memory was gone. I was practically a whole different person. Like, you never existed yes, this in my frame. Yes, to split mind. up again. <laughs> not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt. I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. He was so committed to that. <laughs> he was pulled away, I was like, bro, like, you're right. Like. <laughs> I have no time. Ambassador Varatra, Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events, the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. Put a bunch of... You put a plural into that that I didn't appreciate, so... Really, I should get to repeat that sentence. How's the war going? About servants. I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin his ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. What about Kavir? Kavir values its neutrality. Enough not to lend its armies, or more importantly, even its coin to either side. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses. Unprecedented, even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then... Emperor Amir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times, 
Trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm hmm So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well, avoid him. Alrighty. Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes. Although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford, and the Emperor is here in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships. And Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is rather, well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance. And scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly. And so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. <laughs> Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skellige has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. Hmm. Thanks for your help. Think Not nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. Okay. Might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, bunches. <laughs> the emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound. As soon as possible. Yeah. Mention something of the sort. So long. Kvedian Dokas and Kets. That's a quest I, I, I'm not doing it. You're gonna come back. Till show a Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her, at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. <laughs> I first traveled there five years later. Is that yep? <laughs> <laughs>
chap needs pride. Only say, do not cast mad, brother. All may draw from the well of the eternal fire's grace. Approach, Witcher. Excuse me. Do you know what? I might just do that now. Do you have to say What do you want? Rejoice! For even a creature as time. depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind of work for free. All right, I'll take care of it. This will count amongst your merits. The more good one works in life, the more hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. Dash generously and set alight, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky, for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. Once I've incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. They thought. Unbind me before the next ones come. When they come, I'll tend to them. Meanwhile, let's you and me chat. Like to know who I'm untying. John Verdon. Served in the 10th Maribor Division. Long way from your army. The army don't exist no more. Black One smashed it to bits. I scarped off into the woods just before that happened. Join a group of refugees. Fucking bursting with patriotism, they were. As soon as they learned I'd abandoned Tamaria in her hour of need, they beat me down. Tied me up like a turkey, left me to the drowners. I don't know what... I don't know. Whatever. Fine, I'll help. Oh, thanks. For a minute there, I was almost sure you'd leave me to die. I'd like to thank you somehow. But I'm not a chip crown to me name. Tough. I'll take the loss. Thanks, Witcher. May you prosper on the path. Not so fast, Roach. So I'll slaughter her myself. Hide her corpse neath the floorboards. Those bastards won't have her. All right, all right. Looking for a man goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Got company. Who is it? Inkeep. Vodka. Who's this? Sir? Brave warrior, looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi! 
Great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? How about I buy everybody around? Why would you? Got the coin for it. Simple as that. I don't drink with strangers. When we share a round, won't be strangers anymore. Then we go our separate ways. And which way might yours be? Is it just me, or is that none of your fucking business? I must be hearing things. You ain't. He meant to insult. I'll have to kill him then. Kill! Kill him! Round behind! That'll never work! No! <laughs> 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 Have you any idea what the Baron will do when he learns of this butchery? The village! He'll tear it apart before anyone can say it was some wandering mutant done it. An iron fist he's got! Where's Hendrik? You deaf? You understand what I'm saying? Baron won't let this stand! Calm down. Your Baron's no idiot. Seriously doubt he'll think you locals cut his men down with farming implements. Now where's Hendrik? Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, and he stays <laughs> out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. Go out the back. More of the Baron's men in the village. No need to worry about me. I'd rather you not make any more trouble for yourself, for us both. What are you doing? Oh, why is it misty or something? Be whoever you is. Get away! Calm down. It's over. That's <laughs> done. Aye. It's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream, how he can suffer. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. 
took them all. The sun was waning, see, and the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange, the toads, I cannot hear them. the terrors, yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No, and I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell, and peace of mind to you. of ice around the footprints. Really? Tortured him. Maybe they missed something. Need to check his pockets. Trousers are stiff, as if hung out to dry midwinter. Maybe hid something in his jerkin. Damn, he's cold as ice. Nothing here. Should check his boots. Blood, congealed. Key hidden in his boot. Gotta fit a keyhole. Somewhere nearby, hopefully. There's a draft. Gotta be a space under this rubble. Guess I should do some cleaning. <laughs> left unlocked, on display, almost. Lost his mind, or...? Mm. Mm. Interesting. A 
ledger. Payment for a sack of grain. Amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrik was masquerading as a merchant. Hmm, what's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. Interesting headings. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige. Also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged. Ashen hair. Scar on her face. Avoids contact with others. Drunken swine. So-called Baron hosted subject at his castle. Or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talk to Baron at Crow's Perch. Clashed with a witch. Subject landed in swamp, encountered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry. Village of Midcops. Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Ciri. Thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron, and some witch. Damn. <laughs> Such for like CSI. Okay. home not your concern need to talk to him open the gate not a chance we heard what happened at the crossroads we'll not let a man like that in here really? won't get in that way gotta find another ought to look among the villagers might find one brave enough to help me
Gosh, they were just taking everybody, weren't they? Wise daughters. Eek. Not if I can run the horse. How about that? It takes a tired old man not to panic and run when I appear. Yee yee hee. Somebody Greetings. Go. Greetings to you. Other villagers all scurried off soon as they saw me. You didn't. Oh, oh I'm too old to scurry. Besides, what could you do to me? Kill me? Go ahead. I've not long to live. Tamioid wouldn't work. Your skin's right brittle. Lived here long? Hmm. Since I was born. Reckon that'll be more than 70 winters. Must know the area well. Not bad. Listen, I gotta get inside the fortress. Can I do that without going through the front gate? You can, but few know the way. If you were to make an humble offering, call it to this humble man, maybe I could point you in the right direction. Of course. <laughs> Just looking to make some coin, or is there another reason you're helping me? What you did at the crossroads, that's why they won't let you in, right? The innkeep? My sister's husband. Fine. Don't really feel like arguing with the guards. Years back, when the old lord still ruled Crow's Perch, the blacksmith's boy went missing. Old village looked for him. No luck. Finally found the boy in the river. He drowned. Tragic. But how's that supposed to help me? A few days on, an old woman who served the Lord found the boy's cap near the castle well. So, either he lost it there or he fell in the well. Clever man. Village folk built a shrine where they found the lad's body, northwest of here. Way do you find an entrance to a passage nearby? Shrine. Where is it exactly? Track that weaves through the village. Follow it to the bridge. Oh, Turn right past that. Then go on, straight as piss, till you get to a crossroads. Turn right again. Then follow that path up a hill. Shrine stands upon it. Right past the bridge, then right again. I'll find it, thanks. Whoa there, bro. There's the shrine. Passage must be somewhere around here. Oh, for 
Emphysema? Now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. Oh, how we danced, how we twirled. Ha ha ha! Oh! One, two, three, one, two, three. Hey! <laughs> Come! Enough! I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. <laughs> Aha! A defender of the downtrodden. Greetings. News gets around quick. That it does. When I learned you'd slaughtered my men, I thought to have you captured and hanged. Or at least flogged. But then I thought one tough cocker if he bested that lot of cutthroats. Man like him could prove useful. Useful? How? That's the spirit. We'll work well together. I can see that already. This way, one thing. You do well to behave this time. Remember, I've still to decide what to do with you. Which I shall do after we've spoken. Make yourself at home. It would have put the bloody vodka. Ah, there it is. A snifter. No thanks. Didn't come here to drink. <laughs> As you will. But I'll not sit here a dry if you don't mind. Before the war, there was a distillery nearby. Best in Velen. But the horse on us burnt it to the ground. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stranger. Now the blob tits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I know who you are. <laughs> Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? <laughs> Lovely place. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives. Others, their daughters. What's that supposed to mean? That a threat? Aye, not as clever as I suspected you'd be. No, it's no threat. I'll spell it out for you. I know who you're looking for. She showed up some time ago. Exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. 
Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Said some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. Calm down. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Oh. Are you? <laughs> I never lose my way. Ooh. If that's true, what are you doing so deep in the forest alone? Looking for lost little girls. What happened to us? This? It's nothing. How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail. Then I saw a butterfly. And I ran to catch it. And I lost my way. You and your father, when did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come, I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. No kings among wolves. These have one. And you've seen him? Yes. I mean, no. From behind a tree. He was huge, with giant eyes and great fangs, and he was terribly, disgustedly horrific. Okay. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come. I'll help you up.
now. Am I your brave? My father can even do that. Mine could do a lot more. Come. Look! There's something there. Silly. It's a little better than Wait here. Did. Don't come any closer. But no buts, stay here. I must see something. Still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Ah, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. Tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. <laughs> Stay there and look away. <laughs> hmm. What's this? <laughs> Marrow's missing. Interesting. Let's see. His liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? <laughs> Would you mind making certain your laces are tied? The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. Yes, a fall. Oh, I bet. The Wolf King got him. <laughs> when do children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver. But I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, bull's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. Vesemir. Human settlement nearby. Do parents often send their children out to follow the sweets? Mm. Belly's all in blood, clawed open. No wolves did this.
This way, through the cave. You lead. It's a bit dark. Afraid? Are you? No. Then I'm not either. Okay. That's the spirit. Disappeared, how's that ready? You really give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Girl, you can come out now. Come on. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. Well, I've I've not missed, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. Oh, that wolf, man. No joke. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for <laughs> the one? <reward? laughs> You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in. Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten. And you can do with some sleep. Great care in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I. Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her, and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. I want... I need to find her. Understand? I need every last bit of information available. I understand. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Hmm. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family. But then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? 
Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. Can't start searching till I know what they look like. Tamara, my daughter, turned 19 in the spring. Slender lass, about yay tall, comes up to my shoulders. Got married. Beautiful eyes. <laughs> Green, like her mother's. <laughs> my wife, Anna, has two score winters behind her that I should never admit it. Dark hair, thick as tar. Keeps it tied up in a bun. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? Exactly. I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. Good thinking. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. You know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the other side of the wall? <laughs> you see it there? Whoa, what a trophy! <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. The bed chamber. Tamara's room is there. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. Wooden candlestick. Stems broken. Fresh flowers. Yes, yes, I am. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. His wife. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole and what's on the other side. It's interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Huh. 
rest of the candlestick and wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle from Toussaint. Yeah, Erveloose. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Hmm, why would they run to you? Interesting. Get out of my sight. Damn, trail breaks off. Could find something else, though. Hmm, spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? I won't find much else here. Don't poking around. <laughs> Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coot lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads, must be. Lushes, one and all. Give your men air Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Hmm. Is that so? I have a chat with this peller. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just want to ask about the amulet. <laughs> That's why I came in here as well. Hmm. <laughs> Damn ugly for a doll. The kind you'd stick with pins to hurt someone.
You, white one, look like you got soused last night, too. Well, bring out the gimp. I think the gimp's sleeping. Well, I guess you'll just have to go wake him up now, won't you? And that was that. <laughs> Locked, unlocked. So what's this? An altar. So, the eternal fires made it to Velen. An altar. So, the eternal fires made it to Velen. So hungry, he's eating his oats not. Love to, but not till the morning. What did I do to deserve you? What are you doing? One foot of this. I'm fashioning a new model. Two pieces. Hope me I assist you. For someone who can craft me some armor, gotta be top quality. Well, I've been out of twenty years it's now. Master the craft in some respects, if I do say so myself. <laughs> you wish. Don't listen to her. She's been sore lately, snorting every chance she gets. So, what kind of armor are we talking about? Light but durable. Can't constrain movement, and I gotta be able to get in it without anybody's help. That all? Sure it shouldn't be self-cleaning. And how about it wipe your arse after you take a shite in the bushes? <laughs> Comfortable, strong and light will do just fine. Ought to know one thing when it comes to armor. If it's got to be durable, it can't be light. It can. Just needs the proper tools to make it. Tools like the folk of Clan Tordoroch use on Undvik. Joanna! <laughs> I told you time and again to stay silent when I talk to customers. Shouldn't pester folk with those nonsense skellige legends of yours. It ain't legend, and it ain't nonsense. My granddad would go to Unvik for his armor. Said Tordoroch folk made the best. Till last year, that is, when a giant ravaged their island. Inhabitants giant. either ran off or died, but the forge should still be in one piece. Worth looking into. Say I find the tools. Will you craft the armor for me? <clears throat> On condition you bring the tools, but only then. These legends mention where the forge might be? Yes, north side of the isle, in a cave. Clan folk carved out a rock face to build it. Okay. Look for the tools next time I'm in Skellige. Take care now. Well done. That was interesting. Oh, is that I need it. Get out of here, What do you want? I want to talk to the Peller. Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. Maybe we can make a deal. We'll not plow in bargain with no one. Vengeance. That's what we want. What do you want from him? To give him what he deserves. And that is? He done conjured Algaris. Said something evil had made its nest in Edric's bowels. Told Edric to eat rowan berries. Lots of them. Ever since Edric's lived in the outhouse. And he's got hardened pustules all over him. Just so happens I need the Peller alive. 
So if you agree to leave him alone, for good, I'm willing to tell you how to help Edric. Who the hell do you think you are? A witcher. A witcher? Hear that, boys? Either Velen's got a bumper crop of witches, or this is the bastard who cut down our boys at the crossroads! Kill him! He just get like every time. How did he die? <laughs> Wait, what? Mr. Big, let me in. Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils, who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Whoa, a man, nay, a wolf, grey, though not old. Tis he the peller awaits. The bones declared I should. Oh, they goodness. shall come whose stench is rape and death, but the wolf shall disperse them. The white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. See. Recognize this. Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth smoke and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. You make the amulet? Aye, sure it was the Pella. After the way of his forefathers, over still water in the light of a full moon. Proper as amulets go. It protected well. Should never have taken it off. So. Designed to protect her. From what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more Appella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay, Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess, my goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? <laughs> Without the goat, impossible. No goat, <laughs> won't work. Oh, really? 
<laughs> Refuse to chase down some goat. Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess, princess, where have you got to go? Fine, I'll get your goat. The bell, the little bell's ringing. She loves it. Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. This way, I think. How long you gonna make me wait? Goat. Here, princess. Hoofed and horned. Should have known it would be stubborn. Come on, let's go see the peller. Come on, damn it. Should have guessed as much. What's a witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? This way, your grace. Where the hell did you go?
I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? You're no roach, but I bet we can be friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. <laughs> Princess, flee not from the peril, for there are wolves about. Goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. <laughs> Can we talk about Anna and Tamara now? Know where they might be? Blood. We need blood. A living being. Be right back. <laughs> Will this do? over? Is that it? That is it. Spirits had nothing more to say? Like where they went or where they are now? You came for an augury, an augur I did. They're gone, the child remains. Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was. And she miscarried. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful, or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Nay, not Anna. It was the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for Hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave throne, without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders, it seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf, wise wolf, catch the botchling. The botchling will help, lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. 
Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the White Wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. <laughs> Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming? That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, sure but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm. <laughs> and what does the Pella do? He awaits forefather's eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefather's eve this year. But we'll find a way, all the same. I hear you right. You mentioned Forefather's Eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die, their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefather's Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name. Appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. Is, um, <laughs> the long end of episode two. Um, don't really know what to say about that, but there was a lot of information. I fought a bear in one. <laughs> you can't see that every day. Until next time, I'm out. Bye.